In this video, we'll be looking into the conversion of NFA and DFA. So here the transition table is given. We have to convert it into DFA using subset uh, constru construction method. So our first step was to construct the transition table which they have given in the question itself. So our next step would be to find out the total states that is 2 power Q states. Here Q uh, refers to the number of states, finite number of states. So mod of Q, so here in the question Q given are PQ and R, right? So mod of Q is mod of, that is the total number of uh, states here that is 3. So there are 2 power 3, that is 8 states in total to be considered for constructing the DFA. So let's write all the possible states. It could be null state P, Q, R followed by P and Q, P, R, Q, R and P, Q and R. So here we know the sigma values on um, that is the alphabets or strings used here that those are A and B. Fine. Now our next step is to draw the transition table for DFA. So let's write DFA here. So DFA, let's write A and B here. So here we need to write all the 2 power Q states in square brackets. So P, Q, R, P, Q, P, R, Q, R, P, Q, R and T that is null state. So here the start state is P. So let's put an arrow there and end state is R. So wherever there's R, let's put a star there. So first, um, P on A. P on A is given as PQ and P on B is given as P. Q on A is not defined. So let's put T here. Q on B is R. R on A is PR. R on B is Q. So PQ on A. PQ on A can be written as transition of P on A union, transition of Q on A. Transition of P on A is PQ union. Transition of Q on A is null. So this answer you get it as PQ itself. So P comma Q and here similarly P comma R. PR. So PQ and PR is there. So we can write it as PQ R and PR on B. So it is PQ. QR. Transition of QR on A. There is nothing here and PR here. So it will be PR only. And QR on B, R and Q. Then we have PQR, PQ, null and PR. So it will be P, Q and R, all three. Here also P, Q and R. So for the trap state, it will be the self loop only. So now we have done writing a uh, transition table. Our next step is to draw the transition diagram for DFA. So let's draw the transition diagram. Uh, these are all the states. Let's represent it one by one. P, Q, and R. Here let's write PQ, PR and QR. And here let's define the trap state and here PQR. So wherever there's R, we need to do uh, double circle it, representing it as the final state. And the start state is represented by arrow. So now let's define the transitions. P on A gives PQ. P on B gives P itself. Q on A gives trap state. Q on B gives R. R on A gives PR. R on B gives Q. PQ on A gives PQ itself. PQ on B gives PR, PR on A gives PQR, PR on B gives PQ, QR on A gives PR, QR on B gives QR itself. Then we have trap state, for trap state it's always the self loop and for PQR 
PQR on A gives, PQR itself, PQR on B also gives, PQR itself. So here we have uh, done drawing the transition diagram. Now the last step is to define the all, all the values. So step 5, MDFA is equal to Q epsilon naught transition function Q naught and F where Q is equal to the total number of finite states. Here they are 2 power Q states are being considered here, right? Yes. Then we have sigma, the total alphabets or strings used here, those are A and B. Then transition function is defined in above steps. Then we have Q naught, the start state that is P and F being the final or accepting state that is R, PR, QR and PQR. So I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.